Uh, I Zombie for for people who don't know, um, it's um, it's an adaptation of the comic book. I, I'm not 100. percent I only saw a couple episodes, but I'm not 100 percent sure how much you're drawing from the actual comic itself. Well, the premise is that Liv is a zombie who eats brains. And, um, Liv is your character. Li- sorry, Liv is my character. Olivia, and yeah. Olivia Moore, Liv Moore. Um, but yeah, it's it's very much like the same wry sense of humor and the same kind of kick-ass, strong female lead. There are things that we've definitely drawn from the comic, but at the same time, I've worked on so many adaptations before and there is a big difference when something goes to screen and there's certain things that do and don't work. And so it's been changed in the ways that we think serve it as a TV show. Um, and hopefully still it retains the kind of essence from the comic book because I think that they're a great series and, and I'm a big fan of them. The comic, uh, if you anybody wants to go back and explore, is an old, uh, it's part of the DC family, but I, I believe it's a it's a Vertigo uh, print. Um, so the show is here, it's taking off, taken off that idea. Um, it's not what you would typically think a zombie project would be, mm-hmm. uh, especially the way things happen the and what you can do in the show, which we'll get to in, in a second, is not typical of, uh, say, what you're used to from Night of the Living Dead or uh, The Walking Dead, where you, know, you, you fight, you get bit, and then later you develop a sickness, you die, you come back, and now you, the virus is controlling you. But in your case, when you come back as, as the zombie that you are, you can function... You have um, your, you can speak, you have your brain capability, but you can turn on the on and off at some points the zombie power, I'll, I'll mm-hmm. say, uh, almost like the Hulk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we aren't like the shambling kind of undead at all. It is more like Hulk-ish in some ways. Uh, the idea is that if a zombie in our show eats brains, they're able to um, retain their humanity in right. some sense. And, um, and pass as humans. They lose their pigment. We all have white hair and very white skin. And there are certain physio- like physiological things like that. But by and large, we are quite human. And when we don't eat brains, um, we see quite early on in one of the earliest episodes uh, where people can go. And it's a little, little bit more traditional. We still have a little bit of our own spin on it. But the zombies feel a bit more like the zombies that, that we know and love from other um, other projects. But at the same time, when you get adrenaline or like raging out we call it you become a little bit more of like a feisty fiery right. fast moving zombie because I, I noticed in uh without giving away too much there was a scene where you're at an art show and uh some gentleman some some gentleman comes up and uh, uh gentleman's you, generous <laughs> approaches you in a manner that is not uh fit for uh, approaching a woman mm. and uh decides to become a little aggressive with you and within seconds, you're gone and your zombie persona takes over and just kicks the shit out of them. That's right. Um, yeah, it's when Liv gets threatened, um, when she's threatened or starving or uh, it's quite animalistic like that. Right. Uh, these zombie things come out, her eyes go red and she gets quite superhuman in her strength. Um, it's so, definitely definitely yeah. an interesting take that you could turn it on and off. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, it's also a little bit beyond her control. She doesn't always want it to be happening. It just is an instinctive thing. Right. Um, well, the, all right, I'll, I'll take that back. The fact that you can control it at any point mm. is an interesting take because mm. most zombie stuff is once mm-hmm. you're you're bitten, you're gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. And that's sort of what we played with. That's our new way of our spin on the genre. And um, Diane Ruggiero Wright, who's one of the co-writers of the show, is a huge zombie fan and she knew everything about the zombie lore and uh, the trajectory of the zombie genre. And so for her, that that was kind of her specialty was being able to come up with which parts of that we incorporate and which parts um, we subvert. And right. and so we've tried to do that in the show. I mean, Liv is an ethical zombie as well. She tries to do it the best way she can. She eats the brains of people who've already died. Uh, she works in a morgue so that she doesn't have to kill people. So that's sort of our special thing is that zombies don't have to be bad guys. 